Achievers, welcome back. Uh, today I am doing my first haul. So this is the, as the title says, Wet n Wild haul and I am doing this with my great friend Eva whom I met on here. She is also a YouTuber and she's doing a haul probably right now or maybe has it uploaded. I'm really excited to see that. So if you are watching this and coming from hers, hello, welcome. And if you are one of my subscribers or passing through, welcome. So let's go ahead and get started into this haul. First of all, the whole reason for this was because uh, even I have been, you know, messaging back and forth and just, you know, like little girls gabbing about makeup. And we got to talking about Wet n Wild and I was looking for the highlighters. They are the limited edition highlighters and I have been looking everywhere for these and I can't seem to find them in any store. So finally, when in doubt, I looked online as usual and I ran across um, some other highlighters. Unfortunately, I could not get the highlighters that I wanted, which were the little, I don't know what the names were, um, but all the big YouTubers were talking about them and, you know, just hyping them up. So I couldn't get those, but uh, when you go on to Wet n Wild and you order online for the first time, you get 10% off by using the code which is WelcomeWild1 with the actual number one. And so you get 10% off. And I ordered it and I think the very next day I got a confirmation and then uh, I think I got it within two days but I am in California and they are based in California. This is what the package looked like, a cute little box and then they have this cute little um, wrapping and then they had it very secured very nicely. Okay well I just totally dropped these on the ground so I <laughs> dropped this one. This is the first one and this is called Where the Dreams Go and this is like the lightest shade I believe and it's really pretty. It has gold in it. I like that it is mixed up. These are by the way called the Geometric Highlighting Powders and I like the way that they feel. As you can see I dropped this one so let this be a lesson to you that this is what happens when it drops. Um, but I like the way that they feel. They're really like, they're very buildable. I've heard people complaining, um, some of the YouTubers, that they're not as bright. But, I mean, look at that. I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. And like I said, they build. But I have been using these literally all over my face since I got them. I've just been loving them. Um, I either use them with my fingers. This one is called the uh, Sun Ceremony, and this one looks like that. It's more of a gold. I didn't think I'd like this, but I actually, this is one of my favorites right here. And again, it's got lots of different golds. Here is it swatched on my hand. Aren't those pretty? I, like I said, really enjoying. And then this one is called Desert Exploration. Explorations. And here you go. And these were $4.99. So, not a bad price. You get a lot of product in here. And let me go ahead and get a good swatch of that. So this got, this one has kind of pink tones in it. The first one has a little bit of gold. But um, the middle one definitely has the gold. And then the bottom has like kind of a pink shift maybe a little bit of lavender. And so how I've been using these is I have been using my e.l.f. stipple brush. This is, I believe, called the small stipple brush. I don't know, I'll stop writing the what they are on here. But anyways, I just go in and I've been using them all over, but all over my face I have them. Um, on days where, you know, pretty much this whole week because it's been pretty busy. I've been using it all over my face just real quick. I put down like a mat on my eyes and then I'm going in with these and what I'm doing is either I use my stipple brush and just get a whole bunch of color on there and then I've just been, you know, bringing it on my face, my cheeks right here, kind of bringing it around. And then if I want to zero it in, Zero, zero in, uh, or you know, be more precise. I've been getting my e.l.f. brushes. Um, this is one of the blender blending brushes, and these are only two bucks. 
Um, and then I just kind of narrow it down. So like this shade right here, which again is the Desert Exploration. I've been liking to use like this lighter uh, color in here. And then I've just been using it as a highlight up here and then down in um, my you know right here <laughs> so I've been using that there just to highlight and then um, you know pretty much all over my face I've used it if anybody's interested in seeing how I use these I'd, I'd be happy to try doing a little tutorial uh, so anyways these are great they also come with a little brush so if you don't have brushes um, I mean I think this would work I don't see why not uh, but you know elf brushes two three dollars perfect and like I said I've been using these two and they've been working out really great the next thing I got the long wear eye pencil and I got the shade purple I don't have a purple and I'll, I forgot to mention too these are all cruelty free they have the little happy heart bunny on there and hopefully you can see this either I get my lighting right or I get the focus right so <laughs> I'm sorry if these are off focus I'll post some pictures on Instagram if these aren't very good but anyway so the purple I am using on my eyes uh, lower eyes in my waterline and I have been using them to line my lips so I'm gonna go ahead and demo that how I've been wearing it they're very creamy uh, as a matter of fact when I got it I ended up breaking it Ooh, I need to slow down uh, I ended up breaking it because it was still hot it's hot here in california and i just went to town you know when i get my packages i just like run directly to the bathroom and just tear everything open like an animal and so i broke off the top but you can sharpen them and then i also got these metallic liquid lipsticks and i do believe eva got a few too so i think she might have got one in the same shades as me so it will be interesting to see the differences on how they look on each one of us so again this one i got in the color indigo your own way <laughs> and this makes me want to sing that fleetwood mac every single time <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put this over it like I have been and I love the doe foot on here it is so soft it's like rubbing a little cloud all over so that's how that looks these are not long wearing I'm really hard on lipsticks as it is so look at that doe foot how cute right and it is very soft, like I said. And so I'll go ahead and swatch this on my hand just to give you a little bit. Not pretty. But again, these don't last too long. And I'm very hard on my lipsticks, though. So I'm not a good judge <laughs> in that because, you know, I eat like an animal. I wipe all crazy. I'm not ladylike about wiping my face. I forget that I'm wearing it. Uh, this definitely, like, see there, it's been sitting and it is not kiss proof. Not at all. The color that I got is, I've forgotten this color. This looked like a coral and I'm kind of really into corals lately. Pony Express. Okay, so really pretty like coral pink color. Let's see, where can we swatch this? I'm gonna put it right here in the middle of this highlighter. I think this might be the color that Eva got. Check that out. Isn't that pretty? These are a little bit more tacky than I like. I am really, really picky about lipsticks. I don't like them too, too drying. I don't like them too, too sticky. And this is sticky. Eva has a trick. She has a powder trick to make your lipsticks matte. And they had um, false eyelashes, which I am wearing right now. And they're actually kind of pissing me off. I'm not gonna lie. Um, if you can see like right up in here, this corner does not want to stay down. I'm sure it's probably lifting. Yes, it is. This one was the most natural looking one. They had about three or four different pairs, but I mean, they're 99 cents, so I can't complain. I do feel that the Elf's 
uh, false eyelashes are also uh, around 99 cents and I do feel like those are a little bit easier to work with but with these type if you do have problems and you are learning I would consider myself like intermediate or almost intermediate like I still have a semester to go on eyelashes but if you are starting out I would say that these are difficult because when you pull them off first of all they're hard to get off and then they just want to straighten out let me see I have some right here that I was playing around with kind of cutting and stuff I do cut my eyelashes but if you see they are they kind of want to just go straight and you need them to bend you know if you've worked with and then when you kind of start to bend them they then they overcorrect, and then the glue on here uh, it was just kind of hard to get off and when you're trying to pick off the glue that they put on them to put on the packaging it kind of distorts them too they do come with this glue and I gotta tell you I got a little scared <laughs> because this glue feels smells and looks exactly like super glue so I was very concerned but it's not like super glue and it didn't really hold like I said these don't want to stay in the corner so I used my house to the lashes and that has been helping but they still want to come straight so um, but that's not saying much because any of the eyelashes that I have gotten have, that have come with the glue they've never really the glues never really worked. you are starting out a trick that I that helped me to learn to put on false eyelashes was that I just started cutting them and I started with the smaller area and then I would cut them and then because I do like the butterfly look so I would just start putting them on the ends and that's what I'm going to do with this pair because again it's pissing me off okay so the next things that I got were brushes I was pretty excited that they had a lot of brushes on sale these are new um, again these are also limited edition I believe don't quote me okay so the first one that I got was is this it is called the flat top brush and they're pink but as you can see I've been using it because I really really love this bubble flat top brush so I thought hey this is on sale so I'll go ahead and grab one of these and if I don't like it or for whatever reason I could use it in my um, travel bag I don't like it as much as the elf brush I use this flat top brush for almost everything I use it for powder I use it for blush I use it for under my eyes I can use it for contour I mean I really can get away with a lot of this this brush right here is um, it's great it's um, let's see to compare to the elf flat top it's a little bit smaller and it's a lot more fluffy so I feel you know I've been using it and it's been working I still do like my elf brush a little bit better they're pink at the top and I do have some that aren't uh, stained from me using them so I can show you that so here is one right here and this one is the small eyeshadow brush and they come in the nice packages like this and this one was a lot more thin than I thought it was going to be if you can see right here and they got the pretty pink at the top. They're very soft. Um, these ones I have been using for my eyebrows. I have some ColourPop. Uh, they are for the eyeshadows. It's in a pot. And it's the liquid. So I've just been using that for that. And I feel like, you know, this is strong enough to really give me a precise line. So anyways, these are, I got the, there's the angle brush one. And again, they're very flat. Also, the <clears throat> Smoky Liner Smudge Brush. And let's go ahead and pull this out. I have been using one. Again, this one also, they don't really show the side angle when you look online. I don't think this is in focus. So, it doesn't show exactly how thin it is. But if you can see, it's very thin. This looks more like an eyeliner than eyeshadow but it does it smudges it out it works just fine I just thought it would be a little bit more fluffy they also had these brushes right here they have a clearance section and I found these brushes which are called the eyeshadow brush pretty simple plain and simple uh, but they were 49 cents you know 50 if you're like me and you were raised to round up really nice uh they've got a really thick handle uh, i really like how soft they are for 50 cents come on now you can't beat that so i grabbed like a whole bunch of these and because i am also doing a giveaway pretty soon and so it's eva so be on the lookout for that but so i think that's about it 
But again, I would seriously highly recommend these highlighters. These are so great. I've been having so much fun with these. I really think that you can't go wrong with anything that you get there. I'm sure Eva agrees. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. I, If you like things like this, let us know. So never quit your daydreams, and I will see you next time, and peace that um, you needed to spend and then they give you free shipping. So I <laughs> was having a hard time, but I did come across these. Like I said, they were completely out of, ooh. Oh, damn it. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I love you. Please come back to me, don't die. She's got chunks. What is this, uh, this is called, what's it called?